Hi, and welcome to today's lesson in KB Core. Today's lesson is going to be about how to set up your profile within KB Core. I'm Angela Dudley with EXP Realty out in Tampa, Florida area. So in order to get to your profile, you want to log into your KB Core and you'll come right here to your dashboard. Under your name, you want to click on my profile. Wait a minute, I may not have been at my dashboard. So let me get to my dashboard and I'll click under my profile. And now you're at your profile. So in here to edit, you want to go click edit profile. You want to put your name, your position, your license. Um, depending upon the state, you might be required to put in your NRD, SID, um, and your vendor ID. Here you want to put in your cell phone. Now normally you want this shown on your site. I have mine turned off for a reason, okay? And you'll see once I show you my website. My direct line, this is my smart number, but not the one that EXP gave me. This is the one that I purchased. Um, I have gone over this in a prior video about these uh, smart numbers and how they work. I want this to show on my site. This is where you put in your email addresses, um, your from name that will be shown in the email, your website, if you have a personal website, you can place that here. If you have a preferred lender, you can place them right here and their licenses. Now, this about me. You don't have to type anything in here. This shows up at the very bottom of your website, so more than likely people are not reading it. Um, but before I noticed that, I had gone ahead and started filling it out. Now, your signature. You can create one in Canva. You can use the one in your Gmail. And the one in your Gmail, you can copy and paste over here, and you probably won't have to edit that one. This one I actually made right, um, I believe right here. Um, if you do it in Canva, you can either upload the picture or copy the source code. And boom, place right in here. Now, I have this turned off where it says include signature on all outgoing email now you might want to turn it on if you're not using drip campaigns set up like the way mine are um, or if your emails are not set up like mine i have it to where my hx signature automatically shows up in everything so i don't need to have this turned on this does not show up on your website so honestly you know i just type stuff in just so you can see what it looked like typed in but it's a waste of time because it's not seen by anybody i guess it's just to make you go Raw, raw me. Look at how great I am. I'm not sure. Um, your social media. So on your social media handles, you want to type in what comes at the very end of the very last um, slash. So like up here on Facebook, right after this last slash, I'm going to copy this and then paste it right into here. Okay. And you want to place it all in there. Now my Instagram account, I actually typed everything out um, because I, I just want to make sure it worked both ways. Put in your license number. Here you put in your position. And just to put anything here in, you just click on whatever you want. Okay? So there's all sorts of things that you can click on. I don't know if you can add your own in here. Probably not. And then whatever languages you speak. Then you want to click save. Now, this daily call task creation. I have gone over this in another video, but while we're here, I want to show you this. You want to click at it. I have mine turned off. I don't want KB Core scheduling my phone calls for me. I like to schedule that myself. If not, they will schedule you call people, and it's people that probably does not make sense to even call. You know, there's just no rhyme or reason. Um, it just clogs up your pipeline. So I would turn it off, and then I will show you in a later video. how you can schedule your own phone calls. So now you want to go to your website. You want to type it in, okay? So here, there's a picture right up at the top. We have my social media handles. 
Now I have customized my website and I'll show you in another video how you do this as well. So I'm going to click here. There's my Facebook coming up. Okay. Here is my Twitter. And LinkedIn. And I believe this is YouTube. I don't have my glasses on, so I'm not seeing very well yet. Here's YouTube. And the Instagram. So as you can see, even if you type the whole thing in, it still works. Okay. So again, I have customized. I'm just going to look to, oh, no, I don't want to show you that right now. Let's just go back. Um, if you have your cell phone showing up, it will show up up here at the top. But because I'm using my smart number when I customize, I had to put it in up here. Because I wanted to put my office phone number all the way down here at the bottom. You know, so why they do that, I don't know. You know, to me, it's ridiculous that you guys scroll all the way down to the bottom to see a phone number because you don't want to use your cell phone on here. The areas we cover, I will show you how to put those in in another um, video as well. Um, you know, your blogs will show up. This is your about section. That's why I said it really doesn't matter if you put this in because it's down at the very bottom. Now, your website's going to look a little bit different when you first go in just because it's not customized. But again, I will show you different things that you can do in here. So take care, and I will see you in the next video.